Texans girl here along with William Harvey and we are here to recap the Houston Texans Buffalo Bills game today. Um, first of all Texans fans you know that was an ugly win. We've had the last three wins we've won are ugly. A win is a win and I'll take it. However let's talk about some things. Um, thank God for our defense and our special teams. I think our special teams played great today. The blocked punt and look Good game special teams, good game defense. Look at J.J., look at our secondary, Jonathan Joseph, Kareem Jackson. Hats off to you. We, I mean, we had a great game. Feel very good about those two aspects of the game. Now let's talk about the worst aspects of our game, and that was our offensive line, which was atrocious. It's the worst line in freaking football, people. Come on, man. They should all be freaking fired. Let's have a casting call. All the meanest bastards in Houston, Texas. I don't care. 300 plus pounds. Let's do a casting call. I bet you can um, defend Deshaun Watson. Our quarterback's playing with bruised ribs. Uh, excuse me, bruised chest. He's got partially collapsed lungs. Give me a break, man. The guy's out there playing his heart out. Look, he had some really crummy throws. That throw in the last... Um, Part of the first half in the end zone, the interception, that was a lousy, lousy decision to Sean Watson, and we know it. But the dude's playing hurt. He's getting killed out there. And what really worries me, Texans fans, is next week. Next week when we play Jacksonville. We're playing freaking Jacksonville, people. And you know what? Yeah, you know what? Jacksonville gave up 40 freaking points to the Cowboys. The Cowboys. And the Cowboys suck. But they give up 40 freaking points to them. And what worries me is they're going to be on the warpath next week. They're playing at home. They're going to be on the warpath. They've had – Jacksonville hasn't played well the last two games. But I really feel like they, they're licking their chops. They're salivating because they're watching our offensive line play. And they're coming after our quarterback. And that scares me. It really does. I mean, part of me is like, let's think about – his injury, do we need to sit him out? Because I'm scared to death that Jacksonville's going to take this dude out for the rest of the season. And that's the last thing we need, guys. Our offensive line sucks. We know it. I don't think Bill O'Brien is addressing the problem. I think Bill O'Brien's part of the problem. And um, I, don't, I don't feel good about it. I really don't. Um, I think that's our Achilles heel. It, we, we just have to fix one thing, one thing, and that's our offensive line. That's it. That's the only thing we need to freaking really address when you think about it, fans. You know that. And Bill O'Brien's pissing me off. We've got a franchise quarterback here, and we're killing him. We're killing him. He's not playing the same. He's not looking like the Deshaun Watson we know because of you. Because of you, Bill O'Brien. So get your shit together. Get your shit together or pack it up and get out. Because you don't kill our quarterback. Because that's what you're doing. And it really, really scares me. Now let's talk about some other games today. Let's talk about the Steeler game, Steeler Bungle game. I caught the end of that game. How about A.B., Antonio Brown, in the last few minutes of the game, that 30-yard reception for a touchdown. That dude's awesome. We know it. Um, great job. Steelers, much better. You beat the Bungles does not surprise me. I expected you to win, and Antonio Brown, um, number one receiver in the league, um, great job. Now let's move on to the late games. The Jacksonville game, like I said, was surprising. I had to turn that off because the Cowboys had them beat, like, really quick in the first half. Um, that, was an, that was an embarrassment. I think that Jacksonville's offense sucks. Leonard Fournette's out. I think that's a really bad thing for you, Jacksonville. And Blake Bortles stinks. It's like he's good one game, and then he sucks like five games, and he's good one game, and then he sucks some more games. Blake Bortles is no good. He's no bueno, and he doesn't worry me. The defense does. Anyway, um, the Seahawks-Raider game. That's the only thing. I, I was watching that. I didn't watch the whole game. I watched some of the highlights. Tara Carr was on his ass most of the game. And I'm like, you know what? His line is almost as bad as a Texans. I mean, the dude was like literally crying. He was freaking crying, man. I think the Raiders have... 
really screwed up with John Gruden. I think John Gruden is running the Raiders into the ground. Now, I'm like an outsider looking in, but I'm sorry, Raiders fan, but I think um, Jack Del Rio was Jack Del Rio was doing fine. I don't think you should have fired him. I think John Gruden's screwing you up. The Khalil Mack trade was a huge mistake, and I just think he's running into the ground. I don't know what he's doing to Derek Carr, and he's just sucking wind. Not Derek Carr, but I think John Gruden is the root of the problem. You paid him too much freaking money, and he's screwing up. Um, moving on to the Broncos-Rams game, that was a really good game. It snowed. Um, how about Todd Gurley? Over 200 freaking yards rushing. That dude's amazing. Todd Gurley, best running back in the NFL. He's what um, helped the, the Rams win that game because um, the Broncos came back in the end and, you know, almost made it a really good game. But Todd Gurley, that dude just nails. He's like the nail in the coffin to the defense. That dude can run you into the freaking ground. Um, anyway, Ravens, Titans, that wasn't even a game. Thank you, Ravens, for beating the Titans for us. Um, we're in a 3-3 tie for first place. However, I know that the Titans win. We, they beat us, so they win the tie break. So we have to beat them in the second game. But anyway, the, the night game. the night. Let's talk about the night game. Let's talk about Pat Mahomes. That dude, as far as I'm concerned, is the MVP of the league. He's a badass. He didn't lose that game. The Kansas City Chiefs defense lost that game. It wasn't because Tom Brady was this great quarterback. It was because Kansas City – screwed up the game, screwed up. They screwed up. Mm -hmm. Anyway, so Texans fans, next week we're playing Jacksonville and in Jacksonville. So I think our big, my biggest concern is the protection of our quarterback. I'm very upset with Bill O'Brien. Oh. I don't like what he's, I don't like the plays he's running. I don't, you know, what did he say? That's my daughter. Um, he said our biggest concern was protecting Deshaun Watson. He's not doing a good job at it. you got to protect our freaking franchise quarterback, man. Protect Deshaun Watson. That's your number one priority. If we can get our offensive line going, we will go to the playoffs. If we don't get our offensive line going, I we will Texas. not be going to the playoffs. Anyway, think about it. Give me your thoughts, Texans fans. Peace out. Have a great week. We'll talk tomorrow. Yeah.